hello fam how are you all doing so today i woke up in a very messy house this is my living room I, so i decided to just clean it up from the couches to the mats just tidy up everything because everything was way higher everything was way out of line so this is me just getting ready opening up the curtains and the windows and then getting into the task and by the way thank you so much guys for always returning back also the subscribers the 31 subscribers i'm so appreciative thank you so much so as we continue this vlog i just want to let you know that i totally appreciate you being here so to begin with we are going to do the light dumb dusting that is just sweeping off the lighter dust then you're going to proceed with the water version well there is no way i can accomplish anything without getting some energy first so this is me just dining up then we head to work we're gonna need to use a basin very hot water then a cloth to wipe off then you're going to use some detergent that is laundry softeners and laundry detergent and also a robot detail disinfectant just to keep the place disinfected and also smelling nice so to begin with you are going to dump dust the couches because they're always having some dirt from nowhere in some way it's always good to start from the top then head to the bottom so this is what we are just doing so as uh, with the mixture before we are just going to use this method so that we can just scrub out any dirt from the couches this way is easier than just using the piece of cloth alone it makes it easier and it's so enjoyable and then it leaves your coach smelling so nice and so good you will love it just try it and if you don't have the lid you can just use the cloth alone or just improvise something from your house You will need to touch every part of this couch because it just because you know the dirt is always everywhere so there is no you can just escape it. So we are done with the first couch then let's head to the next one. So just the way we did with the first couch we are just going to do the same with this one. There is no difference formula so it's just all the same. It's so enjoyable but it's exhausting but it's therapeutic also you know <laughs> and as the saying goes curiosity of the cat my cat never misses any occasion anything that is happening in the house is always present just wanting to know what's going on i just love his company so we are going to do the same to the drop pillows and also the cushions So once you're done with the top, you're going to head to the bottom. That is the carpet and the floor. So you're going to sip of this dirt. It's more of the bones, food remains and particles and some dirt. Just dirtifying my house. Just ugh, a ton of. But you're just going to get it done right. So once you're done sweeping off the dirt, you're going to need a basin of water, like two or three. Then some laundry detergent, some fabric softeners for the good smell, of course. And also a laundry bleach. This actually makes the carpet smell so nice in the long run. We're going to need this brush and also a bar of soap, of course. So we begin by sprinkling water around just to wet it, uh, wet the carpet and then we head on to scrubbing. This took me like one hour to get done with because you have to go in and out or around to get every part of it and it's okay. 
After that, you're heading over to rinse it with clean water and then you yes. pull it over to just hang it outside to air dry. Also with some other door mats because I just had to do the mats everywhere. And then after that, we're just going to wait for like three hours or even five hours for it to dry off. Then we'll come back. Thank you for keeping up up to this point. Let's go hang them so that they dry out. So meanwhile, as we wait for them to dry out, we have to clean the house because it's all flooded everywhere. So we begin by just doing the rug <laughs> washing. Another task. Very heavy and hectic, but we got it done. So I had to get every corner of this house moving, moving utensils and items back and forth. It was also very slippery. You must be very careful. So basically, to say the least, every part of this room was just flooded. Only the part where the mattress is that there was no water. But the other places, everywhere was just flooded. And I missed a lot of accidental fall, but good thing I never had a fall. So that was a plus on for me. So eventually, I was almost done with this therapeutic cleaning and uh, voila that's our room with no carpet or anything so we are just going to wait until they dry off so this is us five hours later everything is dried and very warm and of course who would miss a warm blanket my cat would never <laughs> so let's just spread it out we see how it turns out to look like And one thing about my cat, he's always playful. He loves playing around and also sleeping around. But in this moment, he was very active. He made me take more than 30 minutes spreading this <laughs> mat. But eventually we got things tucked in and that's how it looked like. Very neat, very clean, making the room look very demure. I was so exhausted. So let's just get the other things uh, arranged and put back to their places and then we just call it a day, an exhausting, fruitful and uh, amazing day, but the room really gave it. So I usually use the same same concussion to leave the room smelling nice I just spray it around. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share, subscribe. Until next time, bye.